So we're here at Desert Shores today. It's one of the few housing communities with man-made lakes here around Las Vegas, and they've entered into our Safe Harbor program agreement, which basically they will house some endangered fish. Um, we let them grow out here. We sample them every year. And uh, it's a really neat program for the community to kind of engage in some of our native fish. And today we stocked ponytail, um, about 600, 18 inch ponytail. And uh, it all went really smooth. Temperatures were great. And uh, we look forward to sampling them in the spring. We do expect the bony tail in the lake to spawn here. Um, they do spawn in some of our other grow out ponds. And that's a really neat thing to see when we sample year after year that we have our fish that are already pit tagged. So we can check and see their growth. And then we can see new recruitments or new offspring every year. So we do expect to see some recruitment here. The advantage to these lakes is being able to produce much larger fish to handle much larger tags. So we're able to track these fish longer given their larger size. And it's much more passive to grow the fish in a pond environment than say at the hatchery in a raceway setting. So we're able to, say we need 20 fish, very large fish, to go out with another group. We can come here and get our extra large fish to handle those really large pit tags and then release them in addition to some other hatchery fish. Well, I think we all want, love the wildlife that's here, whether it's fish or birds or what have you. We enjoy them being here and we want to be able to use our lakes for lots of purposes. And one of those purposes is to help with endangered species and invite these, these fish that are in danger to our community and provide them a safe place to live and, and, and thrive, hopefully. Bony tail is a big river fish, one of the few endangered fish native to the Colorado River. And basically due to dams going in, it's disrupted their habitat to where their wild numbers have basically become extinct. So the only bony tail really left on the planet now are ones from hatcheries or that have been man-made, essentially. So it's really important to keep the species on the planet, and these are just one of the few ways we can kind of engage the public to be more aware of the conservation needs for the species and as well as the razorback. Both species can live anywhere from 20 to up to 50 years old and grow really large as well, so they're pretty important to keep around.